Hello everyone and welcome back to Decay the Mare. Now we're done with episode one, so I think if I go to new game I can start episode two now. Yep, it's all lit up for me. Okay, maybe we can make sense of episode one because to be honest, I still don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I was talking to a bloody handbag. A literal bloody handbag. What? Somebody explain that to me. What is a friend? <laughs> Apparently my best friend is that bag. Or the hand in the bag, I don't know. And who's this? He keeps sort of like popping up. I think he smashed his hand on the window as well in the last video. He just sort of like wanted to wave to me or something. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, we're back in the game then, it seems. I, I was kind of expecting a, a cutscene or a, a, an intro like the last one, but no, apparently not. So, I guess I've been put in here by the guy who grabbed my face. I'm just going to, you know, scan my cursor over everything. Hopefully you can see the cursor this time. In the last video, you could only see it when it changed uh, sort of context, but hopefully you can see it at all times now. Uh, but I'm not actually seeing anything to use, so turn around, I guess. Okay, we have a door. It's not going to be open, though, is it? To be honest. Well, <laughs> it may have been, but I'm never going to find out. Okay, well, somebody, something, doesn't want me to leave. At least not in that way. So, that way. Okay. Hang on, what's that on the shelf? What is this? It's a coin! Okay. Okay, so we're collecting coins again? I mean, the coins didn't really have a purpose last time. Actually, can I have a look at my items? Have I, have I still got the... No, I haven't got anything. I thought maybe if I had the sledgehammer that might help, but no, I've just got one single coin. And it looks like there's ten to find, so nine to go. Okay, okay. I don't know if they serve a purpose or they're just collectibles, but... Yeah, okay. Well, right, it looks like we can go down and we can sort of like go through this... What? Door of some sort? Uh, let's just... Have a little look. We've got a few planks, probably parts of this shelf all, all over the floor. And there's no way of me going, you know, back on myself. <sighs> no. Might have, might have to find a crowbar and sort of pry these open or something, but okay. Alright. Let's stay on this level to start off with. We'll go down the ladder at some point, I'm sure. Okay, so does that say number? Was that one? Or I? I think it's one. Okay. Into room number one. Okay. Okay, it looks like the puzzles are going to start pretty early on. I believe this is a... is that a keypad? It is a keypad. I'm going to need some sort of code. Okay. Uh, is it is it worth just trying the handle? It's probably never going to work, but it's locked. It was worth a shot in my book. I don't know yet. I'll have to come back to that. We do have um, three uh, paintings or photos, possibly, in frames up here. Okay, um... They have different frames. They're all faceless individuals. That's kind of creepy, actually. I'm sure there's a point to that. But right now, unless I have to use my coin... No, I'm pretty stuck. I'll have to come back to that as well. Okay, fine. Uh, I can go left and right. Let's go to the left. Okay, I, I think that must be heading back to where I was. That kind of looks like the area I was in. So, what's to the right? Just out of interest. Can we have a look? Okay, we have, a, we have a door, we have a lamp, which I can't use, can't even turn it on, no. See the socket over there, no switch, okay. Alright, pretty dark down here. This is unlocked, okay. Alright, that's kind of creepy. Another painting, or maybe even possibly photo. Is that of the individual who keeps popping up? It seems to be bleeding, that's kind of freaky actually. Um, okay, it looks like we're forced to go down then. Just, you know, another set of uh, ladders. Is that another coin? It is! Okay, I'm on a roll. Two coins already. And what is this? Sort of all lit up. Jack Roth dies at 49. Let's, uh, let's pick that up and have a look, shall we? I'm sure that's relevant in some way, shape or form. Jack Roth, Red Butterfly Orchestra pianist and composer, was found dead on Monday morning in his house outside of Newark. Newark police officer Sandy Herra couldn't confirm or deny if any foul play was behind the death of the pianist. Red Butterfly Orchestra said in a statement, We are truly heartbroken at the loss of a close friend and a great musician. We send our deepest condolences to his family. Alright, well that sucks for him I guess. What I'm really drawn to actually is the number, 49. Um, 
because obviously we're going to need a code. We're going to need some numbers. 49 could play a part of that code. Maybe that's the entire code. I don't know. But actually, what I'm really interested in right now is uh, what's down the ladder. Let's have a look. Yeah, those photos, are they're, they're, they're pretty obscene, actually, some of them. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I can have a look at this. What is that? Is that another? Oh my god, it's another coin. Okay, I, I'm just like a... I'm Hawkeye for these things right now. Uh, okay, I can use a camera. I can pick up a camera. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's have a look at the camera then, shall we? Uh, over here, yep. Can I have a look at the film or anything? Or um, use it, maybe? And spin it round. Press the button. Nope, no luck. Anything on the back? Some sort of creepy clown. Okay, kind of cool, I guess. So how's this going to come into play? Hmm, alright. And it's by what looks to be like a trap door of some sort. But I, I can't use it. Okay. There's nothing else. No more coins hiding. Hiding down there. No more coins blending into the surroundings, I don't think. So, let's back out. Uh, some bars separating me from a door. Like a, a pallet or wood to the left, I think. Some boxes I can't use. I'm shit out of luck down here, to be honest. I'm going to turn around and, I guess, have a, have a look upstairs? Can't use this. Can't use this at all. Okay, fine. Huh. Yeah. Well, I've got the camera. The camera's got to play some sort of part in this. Maybe I'll... I'll guess I'll try the other ladder on the other side, then. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, actually. Anything down here? Any of these papers? No. Very boring corridor, really, this side. All right. Well, just before I go to the other ladder, I am just going to try 49. I doubt it's going to work, but... Okay. Maybe 49 with a couple of other numbers, or a sequence of numbers or something, but... I'll keep it in mind, anyway. Right, so... It was to the left. Back through here. Okay. And down? Can we go down? I think we can go down. We can go down. Climb down, absolutely. I'm looking for answers right now. I'm trying to make sense of it all. Okay. Another fan. We got a piece of paper, by any chance, on this side of the fan? Hang on, is that the same fan, I wonder? From episode one? Am I just on the other side of it? That'd be interesting. Hmm. Anyway, okay. We have we have a door up here. I don't think there's anything else to really examine on this side, anyway. It is, uh, like, a room number two, I guess. And it's locked. What's this? Pianist was beheaded. Oh my, okay. This is this just gets juicier and juicier. Let's have a look. Well-known pianist Jack Roth did not die of natural causes, the Newark police confirmed during the press conference held on Monday morning. The autopsy report stated that he had died of poisoning. He was already dead when his head was removed from the body. Police are now searching for his wife, a 55-year-old psychiatrist, possibly related to the gruesome death of the pianist. Oh, okay. But again, I'm drawn to the number. We have 49, now we have 55. If we're looking for a four-digit code, maybe a combination of the two would work. I'm going to have to try that, I think. So, okay, that is that. I think that's locked, so we're going to need to find a key for that. No, hidden button, you're not tempting me. Not yet, not yet. I don't want to press you ever again. Right. Uh, turn around, is there something on this side? Oh, hell, actually, there's quite a lot this side. What's that on the floor? Is that a button? It's locked. Oh, it's like a... It's like a hatch or something? Is that three? It's this. Hey, oh, there's another coin. There's another coin. Brilliant. What's that, the fourth one? That's great. Okay, what's this? It's a plate. Okay. Pick it up. I'm, I'm gonna have to examine that. I don't really know what this is going to be for. Is there anything on the other side? No. Hmm. <laughs> they look like numbers on the side of a, a die, but... I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well that's something, I guess. Uh, but that doesn't really help me out with this, does it? Unless I can use the plate to unlock that? I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, what about everything else? I mean, we've got, we have a quite nice painting over here, it looks like. But I can't examine it. Is that... hang on. 
like a, is it like a workbench or something? Oh, I kind of want to have a look at the workbench. Can I not? Is it? Oh, I think it's just a ladder. Ah, shit. Okay, well, I assume I have all the necessary, you know, uh, knowledge to get through the door with the code. So it's probably going to be 4955 or 5549. Let's give that a go. There may be something I've missed, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, so... 5549. Didn't work. Okay. 4955. Or 4559? 5495? No, I'm... I'm getting out of ideas now. That was pretty much every combination I could come up with. Um, unless it's backwards. <laughs> no, okay, this is this probably isn't it. I I don't know, you know. Um what 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 have we got up here? What can is it this maybe? <sighs> Let's have another look at this. This is puzzling me. I guess it should be, it's a puzzle game, but I don't see I don't see the point in this. Okay. We have a camera. We have four coins. I don't think they are they're meant to be used though. Let's just have another read of Jack this. Roth. Red Butterfly Orchestra pianist and composer was found dead on Monday morning in his house outside of Newark. Newark police officer Sandy Herra couldn't confirm or deny if any foul play was behind the death of the pianist. Red Butterfly Orchestra said in this. No, I don't. I don't really know to be honest. We have a camera, uh, which I can't like. I can't use it. In, well, actually, can I use it? Oh, I can't. I can use it. I, what the fuck? Their faces are numbers. Their faces are goddamn numbers. Let's have a look. I think it was 6044. What the fuck? Was that icon there the entire time? There's a little camera icon. I didn't see that. 6044. Okay. That's probably to the that's the code then, isn't it? I hope so, cuz I'm I'm at a loss right now. 6044. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Okay, the camera's coming into play. I'll take a picture of everything then, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what have we got here? Hang on, what's that? It's a coin! Brilliant, okay, so that's like half the coins in this episode alone. Nice. Let's take a photo. I'm not noticing anything different, but I guess it's nice to check. Okay, so, what is this? It's like a counter up here? Oh! Oh, okay! Okay, uh, I probably have to, there's, there's already one here, there's two more slots, I probably have to use this plate, yeah, 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 that's going in, that's on the left, okay, we, we need to find the central plate, can we push the button or anything, no, what's this, it, oh, oh, it's a key, it's a key to, uh, like, room two, which was down the ladder, wasn't it, okay, cool, brilliant, so we've got somewhere else to go now, I need to find another plate, I think, and then I probably need to, Sort them out and press the button? I don't know. What is this, actually? Just just looking at it. It's maybe like a freezer or something? Hold on, hold on. I probably should have done this. Uh, but... Nothing? No? Nothing different? No? Okay, fine. I'm just looking for more numbers. <laughs> Stuff like that. Anyway, we have a key. Let's use it. Nothing? No? A lot of empty rooms in this episode, it seems. Or, you know, mostly empty rooms. Let's go this way. Um, I think it was to the left. It was this one, wasn't it? And then down this ladder, that's where the door is. And I think that's where, like, a hatch is as well, which had number three on it. So, yep, this is two. This is two. So, I assume that this key is going to work. And it does, okay. Right, so in room two. In room two, we are going to get a notice board. A chair, a table. Uh, another door. Let's have a look at the table. Okay, hang on, hang on. Can I can I open this? Yes! Oh, just to find another coin. Brilliant. What's that, number six? Not bad. Um, is there like a, a bonus or something if you get all the coins? I don't know. Maybe I will have to use them, actually. I don't know. Um... That is it, though. A massive draw for one little coin. Welcome to Newark, New Jersey. That's a lovely, lovely picture there. Worms coming out of someone's eye. That's that's lovely. What is this? 
What is this? Post-it notes. I'm going to pick up four post-it notes. Right. I'm going to need to have a look at those. Uh, okay, they're all in different slots as well, just like the drawings were last time. All right. X marks the spot, is it? Okay. I just came through that door. I guess I could just really quick, quickly check what that is. Uh, there's another one by a table, by like a fence. I haven't seen that area yet, I don't think. Um, a pallet and a ladder. Hey, oh, you know what? I have seen that as well. Yeah, that's where I found the camera. Okay. And what's this? Um, a, a door next to some like bookshelf that's collapsing. Maybe. It might be near the start. No, it wouldn't be near the start. I don't know. There's definitely two post-it notes locations that I could go to. Can we not use... Uh, can we not pick up this? Because I think this is more interesting in a strange way. But no, apparently not. Okay. Um, take a photo of it. It might change. I'm expecting it to change. No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know if I'm disappointed in that, to be honest. Anyway, let's, let's go out this way. Can we go round to the right or to the left? Or I guess try the door? Hey, the door's open. Okay. All right. So, what have we got here? There's like a newspaper down there, but I can't look at that. A pallet. That's where one of the X's is, on the other side of the bars. I see where I am now. Brilliant, okay. But what's this? Buttons? Yep, they appear to be buttons. Any of them work? Oh, that one works! Oh, you... Have I got to do it in, like, some sort of combination, don't I? Okay, so that one, that one. No. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Hey! There we go! What did that do? Something happened on the other side! Did it? Can I have a look at that? Oh, I remember. That's where, you know, where I found the camera. There was some, there was like a little hatch or something. I'm gonna have to go around there anyway, because I want to have a look at that pallet, because there's probably something there, but... Uh, that's kind of neat. Okay. Right, so, can I just take a look at the other side of the room? Um, I think that's that's actually it, I believe. No hiding coins here? Maybe. Might have missed one. Probably missed a couple, actually. Let's go this way. I'm going to spin around, though, and have a look at this door again, because in the post-it note, it said... Where was it? This one here. You know, just sort of, like, over here somewhere, there's something to have a look at, or pick up, or push, maybe? One of the bricks is loose? Let's have a look. It's up here somewhere. Ah! There is something! What is it? It's a nail. Okay, I'll pick up a nail. Just a nail. Anything interesting about the nail, or is it just a nail? One of four. Okay. Also, the other three post-it notes are going to lead me to nails as well. Why do I need four nails? Yeah, looks pretty bog standard to me. Somebody nailed it into the brickwork. For some reason. Okay. Alright, I'm a little bit confuzzled, but never mind. Let's go uh, back this way, up the ladder, <laughs> across the room, down the other ladder. Uh, yeah. Hmm, okay. Through the door, yes? I think I've got a, I think I've got a, a grasp of my whoa. <laughs> Hi there. A grasp of my surroundings. That put me off a little bit though, honestly. Creepy. Creepy. Very creepy, actually. Yeah, let's go down. Have a look at the palette and have a look at the floor. Yeah, it's open. Why is it open? Because it has a key for room three in it. Okay. Brilliant. We can go to room three. So Where's room three? Oh, room th room three isn't the room, is it? It's like a little. It's a little bit like this. It's a little hatch on the floor, a little lockbox on the floor, or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to spin around, and somewhere over here, there, is another nail. Okay, so there's two more nails to find. I'm just going to have another look at those post-it notes. So that's one I haven't found yet. And I actually don't think I've been there yet. And then there's this one. Which is a table next to, I think, a gate or a fence or something. Which look, looks like it might be outside. Obviously I haven't been outside. No. 
No, okay, well. Something to look forward to, I suppose, then. Okay, I'm going to climb up. And I guess climb down the other side again, because I just love doing that right now. And, uh, and try and unlock whatever the hell it is on the floor. So far, I think so good with this episode. Not quite as difficult as episode one was. At the moment, it seems it's just a lot of back and forth going up and down ladders. So if I just turn around now, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So it's down here. I believe that's three. So... There we go. Yeah, it works. It's a hatch. It's a hatch, and it leads down again. Wow, okay. Climb down, absolutely. This is really good. <laughs> I do like this game. Oh, that's a creepy painting. Okay. Right, so we can't actually have a look at the painting. Can we have a look at anything on the floor? There's planks. There's a bookcase. There's a bookcase that's fallen to pieces, actually. Let's have a look at this again. Look, that location is right here, isn't it? That's that door. That's that door there. So there's going to be something uh, around this area. It's... Here. Hang on, wait. There. There's another nail. Okay, we just need one more nail. And oh, look, there's a coin. Brilliant. All right. I guess I should be taking photos, uh, you know, still, so... Yeah. I was expecting the painting to change, but it didn't. Alright. 1636, eh? Do I believe that? Or maybe is, is it turned upside down? Or oh, that wouldn't make any sense. 9091? No. Uh, 1636. I'm, I'm kind of expecting death here, to be honest. No? No, it didn't work. Okay. All right. Um, nine three nine one. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not going to be unlocked, is it? No, it's locked. Okay. All right then. All right. Well, we're going this way. Uh, if I spin around, is there anything on this side? Going to get a better look at this? No. I don't think there's anything else here, really. So let's keep going down here. Uh, there's another door over there. Hopefully that's going to be unlocked. And it is unlocked. Okay. Uh, what, what's this? There's a, there's a little box on a table here. What is this? Oh, brilliant. More numbers. What was the number back there? One, six... No. Maybe I can, maybe I can put that in. What was the code? I, I've actually forgotten the code. I think it was like 1631 or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. There's nothing on this side, okay. Just gonna take a real quick snapshot of this. What was it? One one six three six. Let's try that. Maybe that's what the arrow is pointing to, the box. Let's give it a go. One six three six. <sighs> that note is trolling me right now. It's either a... It might be a combination to something else that I haven't seen yet. I don't know. Uh, okay. All right. Let's 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 leave. I don't know the code for that. I wonder if the third plate's in there. Still trying to find out, you know, why I would need four nails. Hmm. Anyway. Are we examining the painting or moving forward? What are we doing? We're examining the painting. We're moving the painting. What the fuck? Okay. And I can't do anything else here. What? Okay. There is something. There's like a red pixel right there, but I I can't interact with it inside. Can I oh, maybe take a picture of it? Like a zoom. I can zoom maybe with the camera. Wait. Uh, uh, yeah, can I use that? That's not helping too much. Um, right. I don't think there's a zoom option on that camera. Fine. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose that would make sense, to be honest. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I'm a little bit stuck now, for the first time in a while. And that hint bun is looking kind of tempting, but you know what is looking more tempting? It's more tempting to end the video here. Maybe ask for your suggestions and see your thoughts. And I'll come back to you in part four of Decay the Mare next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, we have a door. It's not going to be open though, is it? To be honest. Well, <laughs> it may have been. I can't use it in... Well, actually, can I use it? Oh, I can't... I can use it. I... What the fuck? Their faces are numbers.
It might change. I'm expecting it to change. No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know if I'm disappointed in that, to be honest. Through the door, yes. I think I've got a, I think I've got a, a grasp of my Whoa. <laughs> Hi there.